세계 경제대국 1위 미국. 하지만 높은 비만율로 인해 수많은 질병과도 전쟁 중인데요. 미국 성인 3명 중 1명은 당뇨 위험군에 속한다고 합니다. 하지만 꾸준한 노력으로 당뇨병 환자 수는 물론 당뇨 합병증 발병률도 줄어들었는데요. 혈당관리 모범국가로 거듭난 미국. 과연 그 비결은 무엇일까요? 당뇨 예방 및 혈당 관리를 위해 생활 스포츠에 대한 관심이 높아지는 추세인데요. 최근 인기를 끌고 있는 디스크 골프도 그중한 가지입니다. Disc golf is really just a walk in the park. All we're doing is we keep the, the sport very simple, similar to golf. You count your strokes, but instead of swinging a club, we throw a frisbee. Because you're walking up and down hills, you're, like I said, every throw, you're twisting, you're twerking, you're doing a lot of movement that isn't typical of your normal day. 골프와 마찬가지로 끊임없이 이동하고 전신 근육을 사용하기 때문에 운동량이 상당하다고 하는데요. 무엇보다 꾸준한 운동은 심장과 혈관 건강은 물론 인슐린 저항성에도 도움을 준다고 합니다. I've had some family members that have, so that's why it's good for us to get out there and exercise so that doesn't happen to us. Yeah, because I got friends that got diabetes. Yeah, but I try to keep my weight down, watch what I eat, and walk. Disc golf is a lot of weight and weight. It's 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 a lot of weight and weight and weight. It's a lot of weight and weight. 일반 패스트푸드점처럼 보이는 이곳은 건강식을 찾는 사람들에게 인기가 많은 식당입니다. 이곳의 대표 메뉴는 토르티아인데요. I'm making a veggie wrap. It's made out of spinach and just veggies. It's a vegan tortilla made out of sunrise tomatoes. Uh, this is one of our vegan wraps. So if we have a vegetarian, we can use this. We can do this wrap. 신선한 채소가 듬뿍 들어간 토르티아와 샐러드는 물론 과일과 야채를 갈아서 만든 건강 주스도 인기 메뉴라고 합니다. So a lot of our, our greens they can do a lot of our dressings have no sugar and when you eat healthy you bring your sugars low you lose weight and it helps your sugar levels so it brings down your diabetes numbers. 제철 채소의 화려한 색감, 혈당 관리와 체중 조절에 도움이 되는 건강한 음식들. 시민들의 반응도 궁금한데요. It's got corn, uh, avocado, chicken, lettuce, cilantro, and I add a little bit of mango habanero because I like spicy. I think the older generation I, uh, had higher chances of diabetes. I feel like. There was just a higher intake of like fast food and like on you know health diets that weren't more self-conscious, more aware of what we're what we're eating now. I don't have diabetes. My husband does. He's pre-diabetic, so we're careful what he eats. And when he became pre-diabetic, we started you know obviously we started being careful what he was eating. Fast food의 선두주자였던 미국의 외식 문화에도. 당뇨병 예방을 위한 새로운 바람이 불고 있습니다. Yeah, I would probably say, you know, in the United States there is a diabetic diet that a lot of organizations like the CDC or the American Diabetes Association recommends and really ultimately this diet is a diet high in vegetables and non-starchy vegetables for the most part, but or lean chicken of high quality, but for the most part, your diet is 80% plants. 미국은 당뇨병 극복을 위한 다양한 캠페인과 프로그램을 운영하고 있는데요. 캘리포니아주 남부에 자리한 에너하임. 이곳에선 당뇨병 연구를 위한 모금 행사가 진행 중입니다. So JDRF is who puts on this event, which stands for Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. And so they are the specific foundation that's looking for this cure for diabetes. Those that are living with diabetes, we're trying to find ways to manage it, come together as a community so we know that we have others that support us, um, and looking for ways to really improve our quality of life while dealing with something like diabetes. 이번 당뇨병 연구를 위한 모금 행사의 메인 이벤트는 바로 걷기인데요. I'm walking to help fight a, find a cure for type 1 diabetes. 
for my granddaughter, Walker. We're, we're going to do a, th a 5K walk. Yeah, so it starts over there and it goes through the stadium and then we'll end here. One of Mila's little friend, um, uh, uh, Ben, just got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, so we're here to support him. We're walking as he's walking to sh you know, stand by him and hope that they have been raising money and hopefully that they can find a cure or something that helps this little boy and other families. 당뇨병 극복이라는 염원을 담아 힘찬 발걸음을 내딛는 참가자들. 걷기를 완주하면 당뇨병 치료 연구에 힘을 더할 수 있습니다. So the wonderful thing about JDRF is that all the money goes towards finding a cure for type 1 diabetes. And that is the goal, right? We're trying to end it. Yeah, each, each one of these booths is a different group of people here to support somebody that they know who has type 1 diabetes and raise money for JDRF as we look to cure type 1. 미국에선 당뇨병 치료 연구에 많은 힘을 쏟는 만큼 다양한 시도가 이루어지고 있다고 하는데요. In terms of probiotic treatment for diabetes, we don't often see that. However, there is literature and facts that show that changing our microbiome or the bacteria in our gut can really change how we manage diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. 마이크로바이옴이란 어떤 걸까요? 장내 천여종의 미생물로 이루어진 생태계를 뜻하는데요. 당뇨를 비롯한 만성질환 치료를 위한 열쇠로 주목받고 있습니다. 펜실베니아 주립대학. 이곳에선 마이크로바이옴 연구가 활발하게 진행되고 있는데요. And so what my research group really looks at is the, the gut microbiome and how it affects human health. And really understanding how is it that they interact with, with the human body to, to make us healthier. 마이크로바이옴 연구에서 중요한 건 박테리아를 배양하는 겁니다. So this one, this plate is pretty cool because you can see individual colonies of bacteria, so each one of these. 연구실에서 보유하고 있는 박테리아 종류만 약 500여 종이라는데요. Uh, almost every bacteria we have has a sequence genome, so we know exactly what sort of genes and functions they can do. And so one of the big questions for us is how could we actually engineer these bacteria together into communities, which would be almost like a, a next generation probiotic.